Okay, so friggin' uh, gotta go to friggin' PA today to get some walnuts to fix the uh, wood splitter. So friggin' I got my bits and we're gonna go see if we can't match up some, some bits at PA and uh, different things, but check this out. Snow melting big time. Friggin' just pouring rain out. Obviously not right now, but uh, there's a big one coming and there was one last night that was pretty good too. Frig sack, but uh, just foggier than the hero boys. <laughs> like you can tell. Well, we bucked up, boys. We went to friggin' uh, Habitat for Cigarettes and friggin' pick up a whole bunch of crap. I got this like whiteboard for 10 bucks for Frig Sacks. It's huge and heavy and got uh, aluminum's on it, so I can break that off and get my 10 bucks back and still have a whiteboard for Frig Sack. But there's this Sarnia drywall, and I just noticed it here. So I'm gonna see if I can't get a better deal off these dicks than the dicks that were gonna come on the weekend, except for the freaking roof's leaking again now. So it's like I'm not gonna get drywall until that's completely fixed. So we're gonna go see what these dicks have to say. Beg my pardon. All right, well, th this isn't good, boys. They don't got the right size for frig sixers. So friggin', I ended up finding a socket set there for $25, a regular $100. So I couldn't, you know, just walk by that for freak's sakes. It's like they, they know, you know, that's why they do that. They put a big thing, $25 and shit. And they know that you're going to buy it for freak's sakes, even though you totally don't need it. I got so many sockets and fucking ratchets and shit. I don't need this nonsense, but I figure, oh, I'll buy those at $25. That's a good set for him big dirty, you know what I mean? Because freaking Ford and shit, right? But anyways, freaking. While we're in the zone there, we got to go to freaking Pet Cigarette and get more crit nets because freaking Donnie's just a big fat gelatinous bastard and gobbles him back big time. And his freaking little heat light thing burned out freaking like, you know, I don't know, it's only a month or so old, but you know, it says like 8,000 hours on it. So that's, that's no good. Of course, we didn't bring it to return it. We're just going to have to go buy a new one, go buy a new bulb, day bulb and a night bulb because I got a new lamp, so I'll have day, daylight and night light, so that'll be more awesome for him, probably. And then we gotta go to the dollar store and get whiteboard markers for my whiteboard, and then I can make lists of shit, and you know, maybe we can, okay, well, let's go down the checklist and stuff. I think that'd be more awesome, because I always got a little piece of paper in my pocket and stuff, and then they get crunkled up and lost and gone, and in with another pile of 3,000 other little papers with different things wrote on them, and it all looks the same, so it's like, you know, it's hard to find stuff when, you know what I mean, if I got a big board with a list on it, and then I can see it, and then, and then I remember, probably, but anyways. Dollar Cigarette and PetSmarts is right beside each other, so we'll friggin' uh, chooch over there without crashing, hopefully. Look at this for friggin' sack. Snow, dawn. Son of a bitch. Winter's over, boys. Spores! Oh, crap. It's feeding time. So anyways, there's that friggin' uh, whiteboard that I friggin' got. I'll be able to make lists and stuff on there, but I friggin' come home, we had some lunch, friggin' uh, check my messages, and I got a message from a, from a guy on Facebook, said, uh, big, big fan died in a friggin' uh, snowmobile accident uh, last Saturday. He was only 17 years old for Frig Sack. His name is John Tooley. 17 years old, that's just friggin' terrible. So I'll put a link to the news story right above me here, and uh, if you wanna go take a look at it or whatever. Man, them sleds are dangerous, and you can only friggin' ride them for friggin' three days a year, so Frig Sack. Throw them in the garbage and build a trapter, but uh, anyways, that's that's friggin' terrible, buddy. I, I don't know what to tell you. Anyways, I got a friggin' uh, bunch of friggin' cleaning up to do. I'm gonna friggin' hang the board on that wall over there and friggin' get all this crap out of my way and get a more situated program for FIPS and different things. And uh, let's have a look at the socket set for $25. So anyways, they friggin' picked the sticker off it for Frig Sack. It had like an orange sticker that had the number and $25 written on it. Now you're gonna think I'm lying, but friggin' uh, they probably did that so I didn't pick it off and go in there and stick it on something else and, you know, chase the root program. But anyways, friggin', uh, this, is pretty, this is a pretty good kit. Oh crap, it's all falling apart. It's falling apart already, boys. But, uh, it's got like, you know, a lot of the pieces are friggin' like screwdriver bits and stuff, but it's got some longies and, and then it's got quarter inch, half inch and three cigarettes and all these come falling out and stuff like that but anyways it's got extensions and different things goes all the way up to 32 millimeter and different things so not too bad not too bad got more of them torque things i bought a whole kit of them the other day for sakes but you know i'll keep this one in the truck 
and then uh, I'll have lots of different tools and stuff. You know, if you're driving a Ford, you know, you got tools in the truck. You know, don't tell Big Dirty I said that, but uh, anyways, freaking, uh, if you figure there's at least 100 freaking pieces that are usable in there, and for $25, you, you know what I mean? You couldn't walk by that, so anyways. Well, I got the freaking whiteboard up. Oh, crap. Just heard the rain coming. Uh, it's been coming and going. It's been coming and going. It has. But, uh, uh, see? Getting a little harder now. Frig a dick. My, 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 my stacks, though, my stacks, they're, they're shrinking, so that's good. But, uh, anyways, friggin' uh, got my list. Gotta fix the wood splitter and the Honda Trap here, and then get Big Sigurd in here. That's, uh, I had, a, had that much garbage just stacked up in this corner over here for frig sack. So I'll clean that area out and different things and, you know, whatever. I still got a whole bunch of sorting of shit to do. Fired up the Honda engine though because, you know, I just wanted to make sure, okay, we're dealing with a running engine so as we can mount that on there for frig sakes here and this and that. But, uh, I'm gonna, uh, while I got it in here, there was little friggin' stupid things welded on there. I should show you this. This is ridiculous. I got my hammer out to whack this off. I don't know why. To whack this off. Pug one's funny sometimes. But, uh, yeah, so look at all the weld on that. And I, you know, I was stuck on the bottom of there like quit, right? And I just tap and it fell right off for frig's sake. So, yeah, I think I can do a little better than that. And maybe we'll make like a friggin', I don't know, either one that'll slide on to a little post just like this one was. Like that was there and there was another one there and then the stupid thing slid on there but it you know it was broke off when I got it so but uh yeah so I'll come up with something I was thinking maybe like a pivot thing and take some wire mesh or the expanded mesh and make a little thing and that kicks up or whatever comes out and kicks up and then so you can just fold it up and bungee cord it or something if you need to move it or whatever but uh anyways I gotta get on to the interwebs and uh see Princess Auto this is the kind from Princess Auto it's that big and this is the kind that we're dealing with, and they don't, I thought, swear to cigarettes, I, I seen they had these, uh, these cog, cog pulleys there, but, uh, I must have been thinking of somewhere else, and I don't know where that is anymore, so it's, you know, but this, this thing won't taper, taper wedge itself on there, right, so I need to find, see if I can't come up, come up with like a three quarter to one inch adapter, key, key adapter, slidey on the antler guy off the of ebay's or something maybe i'm gonna go in right now and freaking have a look at that but uh anyways that's why this this project's on hold i mean i could find rummage through my shit i'm sure i got a piece of one inch outer and three quarter inch inner diameter pipe and cut a freaking slot out of it so as i can put a key in there and then grind those a pain in the cock I'll just order one on eBay. So anyways, I got some major friggin' organizing and friggin' cleaning to do. And uh, I also got to friggin' uh, do the adjustments on the hoist here and grease up the greasing bits and friggin' all that crap. I didn't didn't grease the arms like, you know, the where they slide against each other down here and whatnot when I put them on because I was just, you know, all friggin' excited about my new hoist. But uh, anyways, friggin', so I got to get all that crap done. So that's all just boring shit and this and that. So. That's probably going to be it for today, boys. Probably have a cheat, grab some dinner, friggin' uh, get some wood in the fire, and uh, smoke a thousand cigarettes. But uh, I can't think of anything else to mention off the top of my cigarettes, so uh, that'll have to do. So there you go, another Dicker Pug One production. So until tomorrow. God, the watchers get you.